This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to make an adorable cord mini skirt. I actually have a skirt very similar to the one I'll be making in this video that I actually purchased from Princess Highway a good two or so years ago. And I wear that skirt, I'm not even kidding, at least twice a week. It's one of those items in my wardrobe that I just wear all the time. And I felt it was high time I added a new cord skirt to my wardrobe. So let's just get straight into it and let me show you how to make this adorable cord mini skirt. For this project you will need a meter of your choice of fabric, I'll share more about the fabric I'm using in a second, but any mid to heavyweight fabric will do. A 25 centimeter or 10 inch zip. I used a 20 centimeter zip for my skirt, but a 25 centimeter zip would work a lot better. A pair of fabric scissors and some thread that matches your fabric. You will also need the skirt back and waistband template pieces of my Hannah wrap skirt pattern, which I'll have a link to in the description of this video. Originally for my skirt, I planned to use some leftover cord fabric from when I made my dream corduroy dress, but unfortunately I just didn't have enough fabric for this project. So I'll pop this cord fabric away for a future project, and instead I'm going to be using this cord upholstery fabric that I picked up from Spotlight. Because this one is an upholstery fabric, it has this type of interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric, which gives it a really nice heavy weight, which is going to be perfect for the type of skirt I'm planning to make. Let's start by cutting out the skirt pieces. Take the skirt back and waistband pieces of the Hannah pattern and cut them out one size larger than you would normally make. For this skirt, I'm going to be using a different pocket technique than I usually do. And for the pocket template, I'm actually going to be using this vintage style pattern. And I've also made a free pocket template exactly like the one I'm using that you can find a link to in the description of this video. Now let's cut the pieces out. For the skirt back, I cut the template out not on the fold. And for the skirt front, I cut the template out on the fold. Once the pieces are cut out, take the skirt front piece and while still folded in half, place the curved edge of the pocket pieces onto it, making sure that the side edges are lined up nicely like this. Then cut the skirt front along the curved edge of the pocket to make them match like this. And you now have all the pieces ready to make this skirt. Start by taking the skirt template and mark out the points of the darts onto the wrong sides of the skirt front and back pieces, either with a water erasable pen or some tailor's chalk. Fold and pin the darts and then stitch them in place. Once stitched, press the darts towards the centre of the skirt. Next, with right sides together, pin the pocket pieces onto the skirt front, matching the curved edges together. Stitch them together along the curved edge like this. Once stitched, clip the curved edge with your fabric scissors, making sure to not accidentally snip the stitching, and then fold and press the pockets to the wrong side of the skirt. Clipping the curved edge makes this part a lot easier. Then top stitch along the curved edge to help keep the pocket in place. Next, with the right sides together, fold the pocket piece in half, matching the bottom straight edge together. and then base stitch the pockets into position along the top edge of the skirt like this. Then stitch the bottom of the pocket closed. 
Now let's take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of this video. I'm so excited to be working with Squarespace again for this video. For those of you who don't know what Squarespace is, it is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've personally been using Squarespace to run the Rosary Apparel website and online store for the last five or so years. And trust me when I tell you, they make running your dream website so stress-free and easy. Whether you want to start making and selling your own products, create a portfolio, or even start a blog, Squarespace have so many different templates to choose from. You're sure to find one that's perfect for you and your needs. What I really love about Squarespace is you really can customize everything on your website. So even though you start with a template, you can change everything from the fonts and colors to the actual layout of the website itself to be able to create a website that is uniquely yours and unlike any other website out there. So if you'd like to create a beautiful website of your own, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your beautiful new website, head to squarespace.com slash rosary apparel for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Next, with right sides together, place the skirt backs onto the skirt front and stitch them together along the sides like this. Overlock or zigzag stitch along the raw edge to prevent the fabric from fraying. Next, take the waistband piece and press one of the edges in by about 1cm or half an inch. Then with right sides together and matching the raw edges together, pin the waistband to the skirt. Like me, you will probably have a bit of excess fabric on the waistband, so simply trim the excess away until it's the same size as the skirt and then stitch the waistband in place. Multiple layers of upholstery fabric can get pretty thick, so be sure to use a heavy duty machine needle if you're also using upholstery fabric for your skirt. Once the waistband has been stitched in place, overlock or zigzag stitch the center back edges of the skirt. Then with wrong sides together, press the waistband in half, making sure that the folded edge of the waistband covers up the seam on the inside of the skirt. Next, take your zip and pin it to the centre back edge of the skirt, making sure that the teeth of the zip are positioned at that folded crease line of the waistband. Then stitch the zip in place. Then just simply repeat this for the other side of the zip. Once the zip is completely stitched in place, fold the waistband in half onto the zip with right sides together. And stitch the waistband together like this being careful not to sew over the zipper teeth. Then trim away the excess zip and fold the waistband right side out so that your zip is now nicely enclosed into the waistband. Then repeat this for the other side of the zip. Then stitch the remaining skirt backs together. Pin the waistband to the inside of the skirt and then hand stitch it in place, again making sure that the waistband encloses the seam on the inside of the skirt. Lastly, overlock or zigzag stitch along the bottom edge of the skirt, and then hem the skirt by pressing the bottom edge in by about one centimeter or half an inch. You could alternatively hem the skirt by skipping the overlocking part and simply just fold and press the hem in by one centimeter or half an inch twice, but my fabric was way too thick for that. Then stitch the hem in place and your cord mini skirt is complete. So how does it look?
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have a go at making a skirt like this one for yourself then I would love to see it. So be sure to tag me at Rosary Apparel when you share your photos on Instagram. And if you did enjoy the video, it would mean a lot to me if you could give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more sewing type videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.